what is up guys back at it again so you have already seen the demo for this chat application using php mysql and ajax so we're just going to get straight to it so as always the code is already on github so all you have to do is visit this link which will be down in the description um, i will not be able to show you guys how to build this full application because this is not um, a one video kind of thing but you can tell me down in the comments if you want a tutorial series on how to build this full chart up. Uh, but for now, I'm going to show you guys how to implement this in your own application in a very simple way. So let me know if you don't know about how to turn this application from your local machine to a live server or something of the sort, and I'll definitely sort you out. So once you're here, before we continue to the tutorial, uh, there's something I want to highlight. If you enjoyed at least one of these tutorials, then you'll find out that there are a ton more. There's a hundred PHP projects that we'll be building out on this channel. So if you want to master your PHP and perfect it, then be sure to check out this particular playlist down in the description. It can really help you out. And if at all any of these tutorials help you out, then kindly, kindly just head down there and hit that subscribe button and that will help me out and support the channel as well. Okay, so what you want to do is just hit this button and then just download the zip file. It's going to give me a pop-up. It's very convenient for my machine. Uh, then I'm just going to navigate to the htdocs, htdocs folder and right here this is where you want your zip file to be downloaded to and once that is already done then just open this up okay navigate to your htdocs for me it's already on my desktop so all i have to do is just hit there and extract here so it will extract to this particular htdocs then i should just delete this and uh, um, I want to rename this. Okay. Let me just call this PHP chat tutorial to avoid directory issues with the first one. Okay. Then once you have extracted this, now you have to create the database. So let's just get rid of this. But don't forget about this. Let's just get rid of this. And then just head over to localhost PHP my admin. It is taking a while just be patient a little bit it will soon load up why would it be taking this long it's not like it actually uses an internet connection this is on my local host oh my god this is taking ages anyway while we wait you can just head down and subscribe by the way as we wait as we wait as we wait for this to load up let me check if Apache is running. Yeah, I believe it, it is. Uh, okay, it's done. So the database you're going to create is called chat underscore app underscore DB. I've already created it. Let me just delete this. So I can show you guys how you can just set this up. Um, with the uh, operations, operations. It's surely red or something. Yeah. Uh, I dropped the database. Okay. Ah, so that's done. So let's create the new database. Just hit on new. And then the database name, chat underscore app underscore db. And then just hit on create. And it's created. And then you just hit import advertised for you guys. Uh, the exported tables so just choose and then just navigate htdocs um php php chat no php tutorial php chat tutorial this is it 
and then just this dot db folder that I've attached select this and then just hit open this will automatically create the tables for you guys okay 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 it should just take a while depending on your pc how fast your machine is if it's fast this will be done by now already so let's just give it a minute it's importing like three tables so this could take a while And by the way, if you have any ideas, any ideas at all of what we should be building out, feel free to go down in the comment section and just drop a comment like, I want you to build this out and we will definitely do it as long as it relates to web development, PHP, or something of the sort. And done. Okay. So the tables have been created successfully. So we don't need this anymore. So if we were to navigate to localhost, slash php chat tutorial it should be able to load up without any errors and voila there is the system so let's test this out let's first sign up because right now there aren't any records in that database it's just empty So this should just take a little bit. Shouldn't even load up this much. Close out the tabs. Okay. So I'm just going to call this Steve Jobs. Uh, the username. I'm going to give him Tom. Tom. Okay, Tom. And for the password. And I'm gonna choose a file, the gravata. Okay, this guy. Okay, this guy will work. And then just sign up. Okay, account was created successfully, so let's just, let's try logging in. What was the guy's name? And then login. Don't know why it is taking unnecessarily long unless i have more than one instance of zamp running oh my god i have like four instances of zamp running anyway i'm just you just have to bear with me let's create let's create an, an incognito window because if you try to create another account it will automatically detect your tom and it will direct you to the home the, the chat page so that is just inconvenient. So there's the new incognito window. And then let's just navigate. Oh dear. Let's just reload this. Okay. So we're signing up a new user. Let's call this guy Dave. Nope. Tom Hanks. Nope. We already have a Tom. Uh, let's have a female. So, Rose. Uh, something. Mm, something. Okay. The username is going to be Rose. And for the password, let me just record something fancy. Choose a file. It's definitely going to be this and sign up and then let's just log in 
and the password and login and voila we have this working we have this so let me just search for those in this side get in there and just say hi and let me search for steve or what was his name steve yeah and let's start chatting with steve and steve says hi so we say yo you're steve or something so we sent you twice and we can just say how is everyone 